Hi, this is David, Two Stroke Performance. I'm doing a brief video today on the oil uh, priming sequence on the KDM and Husky TPI bikes, and basically how you can use that oil priming sequence to uh, get a rough gauge as to whether or not your oil pump is working reasonably or not. Um, so first thing you'll notice, I've got the tank off this bike. Uh, I've got the ECU connected. Um, normally you would need the wake up uh, connector. If you don't have one of those, I don't have one today in, uh, in the workshop. Um, if you don't have one, you can easily get around it just with a loop of wire like this. On the six pin diagnostic connector, you'll see on one side, it's got a blank uh, pin there. The other two wires on that side are a brown wire and a black and white wire. Uh, the idea if you're using the loop of wire is to bridge those, those two, um, the brown and the black and white wire. So the way I've got this set at the moment, it's not pushed in far enough to bridge them. When I push it down further, it will bridge the two. Um, so uh, coming down here, you'll see I've got a syringe. Um, I've already removed the um, oil hose off the throttle body. You can see the barb fitting in the back there. And I've just got the oil hose just sitting down into the syringe. There is a little bit of oil at the bottom. I've done that um, because there's a little bit of dead space um, beneath the first black um, graduation on the syringe. So I'm starting it uh, with a little bit of oil in there so that uh, we can get a kind of accurate measurement starting from that bottom black mark there upwards. Um, I've just got a, so this is a five mil syringe and I've just got a nail uh, sticking in the bottom of it so that it doesn't leak, which also kind of conveniently sits it up um, uh, here so, so I don't really have to hold that or touch it until towards the end. So the process is, is kind of simple. So as I said at the moment, this is not bridged. Um, uh, you would start uh, the process by twisting the throttle to wide open throttle, holding it there. Then at that point, you either want to plug in the wake up connector or push this bit of wire in. So I'll do that now. I'm still, I'll put the phone down. I'm still holding the throttle wide open. And there we go. I've just bridged that connection. You, you should have just heard the relay click on the phone. Uh, so I've pushed that in now. It's bridging those wires. One of the relays clicked. I'm still holding the, the throttle wide open. And I'll come down here, and in a moment when I let the throttle go, this should start to click and pump out oil. And no, it hasn't. <laughs> I'll try that again. So I'm just going to remove remove this loop of wire. There we go. So I've pulled the loop of wire back out. I'm going to start that process one more time. So wide open throttle. I'll put the phone down. I'm still holding wide open throttle, pressing in the loop of wire to bridge those connectors. Come down here and now I'll let the throttle go. There we go, that worked a second time. So you hear this one is clicking at a constant fast rate. Um, there are different oil priming uh, sort of sequences. Some go for 30 seconds, some go for 60 seconds. Some of them click fast like this one the whole time and others alternate between slow and fast. There we go, so that one there has stopped. Um, now, so I'll tell you just a, a little bit more about the oil priming sequences because there are three distinct sequences. Um, this one that I've just done, this is actually one of my modified uh, sequences. Um, uh, the original 18, 19 and 20 model bikes had a sequence that went for 30 seconds and the, the pump alternated between fast and slow clicks. Now, that cycle uh, put out about roughly one mil of oil uh, during the process you know during that whole process this one that you've just seen is my version of that one which I've modified instead of it clicking fast and slow I've changed it so it just clicks fast the whole time but it still only goes for 30 seconds um, then uh, uh, and this one I have to pull it out of there this one puts out around about three mils of oil um, roughly um, then the last sequence, which uh, is on the, the newest 21 model bikes, now that clicks, um, the whole time it, it clicks, it's clicking fast only, there's no alternating between fast and slow, and that one goes for 60 seconds, and it puts out about five and a half mils of oil. So at the end of this video, I'll put up a, a little table just with the basic specs of those three different oil priming sequences. Um, you won't really know which one you have until you test it, uh, but you'll know it straight away either by the length of time, 30 or 60 seconds, uh, and whether or not the pump clicks fast the whole time or whether it alternates between fast and slow. So I'll pull this out now and show you. So that one there, if you can focus on this, that's pretty much bang on 
uh, three mils. Um, so as I said, I'll put the specs up there for, for the other one. So you can use this, this is a, this pump, or this bike is in you know, perfectly good condition. Uh, the pump is, oil pump is working properly. So I'm gonna test that periodically. And if I notice that that changes, uh, drops from three down to say 2.5 or whatever, I know I've got a, uh, an issue developing with my pump. Maybe there's a bit of grit in there, you know, something that's stopping the flow or reducing the flow. Um, with the TPIs, I have seen a, a number of bikes that uh, where the oil pump will still work, but it, it appears to be pumping out a much lower volume of oil than what it should. So using this oil priming sequence is just a good way that you can periodically uh, test um, uh, take notes, so each time you do it, write down the volume that you get uh, so that you can compare, you know, notes on, on, you know, what your bike does, you know, the first time and say what it does 20 or 30 or 40 hours later. I'd probably suggest checking it, I don't know, I'm guessing here, but maybe every 20 to 40 hours just to be safe. Um, uh, especially the earlier bikes, the 18 and 19 models, were, they were reasonably susceptible to getting dirt into the pump um, and that then reduces the flow from the pump whereas the newer ones are less susceptible to that because there is, a, I believe, there's a um, screen inside the, the tank. So anyway, that's the process. Uh, as I said, I'll put up a little table at the end of the video. You can pause the video and check out some detail on those three different priming sequences and the amounts of oil that they um, will pump out. Um, hopefully this has been of help or benefit to people. Uh, and uh, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, just uh, respond to the video or send us an email to admin at twostrokeperformance.com.au. Okay, thanks for watching.